Hello UCE families and visitors who may be watching. Welcome to week two of our Soulful Home Packet on our theme of Beloved Community. Glad you are here. This week we focus on the segments at play and around the neighborhood. We'll start with around the neighborhood. This is an opportunity to do something obviously around your neighborhood that relates to our theme. In the past we've had scavenger hunts and this month we have a watching game. Have you ever seen the movie, I think it was Lady and the Tramp, or maybe it was 101 Dalmatians. Yes, it was 101 Dalmatians. There's a scene where Roger, I think is his name, is walking through a park uh, with his dog and they show all the people walking with dogs and how the dogs look like their owners. That scene, it's one of my favorites. Anyway, so our activity for this month is to do some people watching. Yes, one of my favorite things to do. First of all, it's free. Second of all, you can do it at any age. So find a place in your neighborhood, whether it may be a park, a shopping mall perhaps, or just a busy street, a place that has a diversity of people, the more the merrier in some ways. And with our pandemic situation this year, finding an outdoor place is probably the best and easiest and safest to do. So find your place and just sit there for a little bit and people watch. And some things that you could look for are in the uh, Soulful Home Packet. And I'll mention a few of them here. One, people with dogs and whether or not their dogs look like them. Kind of like the movie I was talking about. They were noticed that we tend to congregate with people who are very similar to us. Do the people you see, are they with people that look like them, each other? Or are they a diverse group? Look for people who fit in. What is it about them that makes them look like they fit in? And then what about people who look like they don't quite fit in to the neighborhood? What about them makes them look like they don't fit in? How about listening? Listening for other languages. Do you hear any other languages being spoken? Try looking for someone on wheels. And last but not least, can you tell how people are feeling by the way they look? Do they look happy or sad, angry or in love? It is Valentine's week after all. Our next segment at play is some activities that you can do as a family at home and have a little fun with our theme of beloved community. Our first activity is for those who like word games. It's a word scramble. In the packet you'll see there are five words that are referred to throughout having to do with Martin Luther King's vision of beloved community. The five words were respect, dignity, kindness, honesty, and humility. The idea of the word scramble is to write these words on a piece of paper or type them in your computer and print them out, but make sure the letters are spaced a little bit apart because you're going to cut them up. And the idea is to cut up each of the letters for each word and then have your family try and guess the words and reassemble the letters. 
And for young kids, you would want to do just one word at a time. But for older kids, make it a challenge and put all the letters together and mix them up and see if they can unscramble them and put them back into words again. And while you're doing this, you can have a conversation about the words. What does humility mean to you? What about dignity? Do any of these connect to our UU principles? One clue I can give you is the word dignity. Our second activity for at play is called bouncing into beloved community. And this is a game that will be for the people that like to move about and be a little more active with their fun. What you'll need though is an old shoe box, an empty shoe box, a Sharpie pen, and say four or five ping pong balls or something very similar, a, a lightweight ball that bounces. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to take the lid off of the shoe box and you're going to cut a heart in it. A heart kind of near one end of the shoe box. And then you will take your ping pong balls and your Sharpie marker and write each person's name that's in your beloved community, which could be your family, could include your friends, teachers, whoever, whoever you consider to be part of your beloved community. And you can write their names or draw a picture or something that represents them on your ping pong balls. Then you just put the lid back on your shoe box and you stay in the shoe box on the short side so it's tall. And you stand it at one end of a table and you're at the other end and the idea is to bounce each ping pong ball into the shoe box through the heart hole that you cut. Sounds like a little challenging to me. So if you explore that, send me a video of your family playing that game. I would love to see this. So that's all. A short segment this week. Have fun with Around the Neighborhood and at play. And until next week, blessed be and have a wonderful week ahead.